At this point, your game is fully playable, but there's still room for some improvement. Obviously, the game is not very pretty yet, and you'll get to work on that soon. But in the meantime, there are a few small areas where you can add some polish. Currently, the alert view still says, Hello World. You could give it the name of the game, Bullseye, but I have a better idea. What if you change the title depending on how well the player did? If the player put this value right on the target, the alert could say, Perfect. If the slider is really close to the target but not quite there, you could say, You almost had it. If the player is way off, you could say, Not even close, and so on. This gives the player a little more feedback on how well they did. Now that you've learned about variables, strings, and if statements, this should be a breeze. Let's try it out. All right, we are back in Bullseye, and we're going to create that method to create a better alert title. So this time, we're going to create a new method. We use the keyword func, and we're going to call it alert title. It takes no parameters. This time, it's going to return a string. All right, so the first thing we do is calculate the difference, which is the absolute value of the target minus the slider. So we can just take that line we wrote earlier and say, let difference equal that. All right, now we want to return a title. So we're going to say, let title string. And we're going to set that title by an FL statement. So if the difference equals zero, then we're going to set the title equal to be perfect. Else, if the difference is less than five, we're going to set the title equals you almost had it. And if the difference is less than 10 or equal to 10, we'll say not bad. If they miss it by more than 10, we're going to say, are you even trying? And finally, we're going to return the title. Now you may wonder, how is it possible that we set the title as a constant with let rather than using var, considering we set it in more than one place? Well, it turns out Swift is pretty smart. And it knows that since you have an if else statement here, no matter what, title is going to be set because you're always going to get to at least one of these conditions. And it's only going to be set once. So because it's only set once, it can still be a constant. If it's set more than once, it can't be a constant. So you're still good there. All right, so now that we have this new alert title method, we can go back to our alert. And instead of saying hello there, we're going to call alert title. And while we're at it, there's one a bit of code that we've repeated. And so we're getting a little bit not dry. And what that is is the area I copied and pasted before. This and this are the exact same lines of code. So just to refactor a little bit, we're going to say amount off int. So we're going to create this new method. And it's just going to be this. So let me cut and paste that. And now we can call amount off in both of these cases. The benefit of doing this, again, is that say somehow the difference is calculated in a different way. Maybe we don't want to round anymore or whatever it may be. We have just one place to change it rather than having to change it here and also there. Okay, so let's build and run and see how this works. So first, I'm going to try to get as close as I can. So like 84. Um, okay, so it says not bad. I was within 10. Let's do something really off. So I'll pick 100. It says, are you even trying? 